गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स यस्टरडे वी हैव डिराइव द इक्वेशन फॉर द प्रेशर ओके प्रेशर इन साइड एंड आउटसाइड द प्रेशर डिफरेंस अक्रॉस करोड सर्फेस दैट दैट इक्वेशन वी हैव डिराइव ओके इन कंटिन्यूएशन ऑफ दैट इक्वेशन वी विल सी टुडे हाउ द प्रेशर इन साइड द लिक्विड ड्रॉपलेट सोप बबल एंड लिक्विड जेट दैट ऑल द थ्री थिंग्स वी विल सी इन द टूडेज क्लास ओके सी what the pressure inside the curved surface pressure difference inside curved surface not inside pressure difference across right it's across a pressure difference across curved surface curved surface what the what we have seen the pressure difference across the curved surface we have seen that is the delta p is equal to sigma 1 upon r1 right plus 1 upon r2 this thing we have seen right and this is a very important equation okay i'll just meet somebody is knocking the door i'll come back See the pressure difference across the curved surface. This equation we have derived, right? Now we will see the cases. Uh, uh, the case one, right? The case one, the pressure inside. Pressure inside a liquid droplet. Liquid droplet. Okay. Uh, see, we will see. See, this is what the liquid droplet like. It looks like in a sphere. okay this is a liquid droplet the pressure inside is p1 and the outside is po p0 zero right means outside there is a gas and the inside there is a sphere of it is a liquid right liquid is a sphere in sphere case you know right see if i write down this delta p equal to sigma 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 right in this case <coughs> आर वन सी इफ द स्पीयर इन द स्पीयर केस आर इक्वल टू आर वन इक्वल टू आर टू राइट सो आई कैन राइट सो ओके जस्ट मीट गाइज ओके जस्ट मीट प्लीज but 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 zero to yes ah uh, okay i just change the room okay let me uh, Uh, yes now it's everything audible okay okay see what uh, right now see what this is what the delta p right delta p equal to if i put the r1 and r2 equal then what i will get i will get sigma 1 upon r plus 1 upon r right so i told you this case is very important this this formula you have to remember okay you just you have to in spherical sphere you get r1 equal to r2 you have to put now here in this case delta p is equal to okay if you Simply by this, then you will get sigma four sigma d. Okay, this is what you will get. Right, you understood? Yeah, I think you, it is visual for you also, right? Okay, now we'll move on to the next case. Let me uh, uh, control zero this. Right, the next case, uh, the case number now case number two. Case number. केस नंबर टू ओके सी द प्रेशर नाउ विल सी द प्रेशर इन साइड सोप बॉल प्रेशर प्रेशर इन साइड 
особого See the pressure inside the soap bubble that is Okay this is what the soap bubble right soap bubble has two layers right that thing you should keep in remember here there is see here uh, here there is air also okay and here also there is air right and these are the soaps uh, film of the slope soap is filmed like this right see in this case if i uh, write that equation that is p1 minus that is p1 inside and p uh, p not as outside that is p1 minus p not equal to here in this case i have to take two times right because this inside one interface and this outside interface so i will write this to sigma r1 plus 1 upon r2 okay from this if i deduce this equation see here also there is a sphere okay r1 equal to r2 equal to r right means here i will get the p1 that is a delta p i can write down directly the delta p i will get 8 sigma by a d that is a diameter of the sphere okay you understood this now we will see the case number 3 that is case number 3 that is liquid jet liquid jet see the liquid in the in the liquid jet how it looks like suppose this is a liquid jet okay see in the liquid jet the, the jet is continuous okay we have to take per unit length here i will take the length of this and the radius of this liquid jet is r and the length of this jet uh, the, see the liquid jet is continuous so i have to take per unit length right in case of the liquid jet so here how well here is it is a air right the inside is liquid and the, the inside pressure of this liquid is p1 and the air pressure outside that is a p0 right if, if i write that equation that is p1 minus p0 that is the pressure difference is equal to in this case sigma 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 okay see here how it works see r1 is equal to r here right r1 equal to r this r but r2 is tends to infinity right so this value goes to zero in this case then how i can write the pressure difference in this i can write dp is directly that is sigma upon r this is what the pressure difference in case of a liquid jet okay see how uh, the simple is this case right now we will see the next case that is case number 4 case number 4 in case of air bubble air bubble in case of the air bubble this is the container right and this is what the liquid and the air is in the air bubble is inside like this okay see here it is a air right there is only one interface this is liquid right here you write the pressure difference p1 minus p0 right the p1 uh, is uh, is equal to uh, the p0 is outside pressure and the inside that is air pressure that is a p1 here right then you can write p equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 right and uh, you will get see in the sphere case if it is a sphere bubble then r equal to r1 equal to r2 right this thing you have to now you draw a, you see 1 p1 minus p0 is equal to p inside or p p1 or p inside you can take okay no problem Uh, that is equal to 2 sigma upon r right see r by 2 if i take this downward then uh, the r is d by 2 means p1 minus p0 is equal to 4 times sigma upon d okay see the rest thing is very simple the equation one which is important which is governing all this phenomena of uh, the surface tension is this equation okay this is a very important equation that's why derived the equation first you understood this uh, <coughs> now i think we will take one example on this okay just let me write down i have not uh, taken the uh, see the question is the difference in the pressure the difference in pressure the difference in pressure that is in newton newton per meter square across the air 
across the air bubble across the air bubble is a diameter that is 0.001 meter immersed in the water immersed in the water and the surface tension of the water that is sigma water is equal to point this value you have to keep it in mind that is newton meter okay this much surface tension of the water is there okay now you see we have to find out the diameter right here uh, the difference in the pressure across the air bubble is 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 a diameter point not one meter okay see the air bubble diameter they have given right so here what we have to do right see this is what the air bubble right the diameter immersed in the the it is water right this is what the case this formula i have to use right the delta pressure that is here the delta p in order to find the pressure difference they are to, to, told us to find the pressure difference right it is four times right four times sigma sigma the uh, surface tension of the water is 0.072 right and divide by uh, divide by the diameter what is the diameter diameter is also given that is 0.001 okay from this if you calculate you will get the answer 288 it is in newton meter square this is what the pressure difference okay this is how we can calculate the pressure difference right okay i think uh, with this we will stop for the today's class in the next class we will continue with the capillarity okay next class we will start the new chapter that is a capillarity capillarity and see the one more thing important in the capillarity this is also the see i the capillarity phenomena in the in the nature you can many places you can see this capillarity phenomena okay day by day you are observing actually how Uh, the water uh, the trees are sucks the water from the ground right and how there is a irrigation in the, of the water that all comes under in this capillary action okay if you uh, in in a flask of in a water container okay if you drop a small tube then how it will rages that is what capillary rise capillary fall that everything we will see it in the next class okay see i am taking very small small classes because this will help you a lot right uh, uh, how it helps you see uh, the main thing i am trying to explain you okay the if i take the one hour lecture then it will be not useful for you guys right but the actually main which is asked in the exam that thing i am trying to clear you but even though you have uh, you need uh, some little bit uh, more uh, more explanation about this all topics then you can tell i will take uh, the big lectures for that also okay Uh, but uh, i think this much is sufficient for you guys okay no need required for the uh, long lectures also okay we will in the tomorrow's class we will see this capillarity and i request you guys please like share my videos with your friends right the put a comments if you have any doubts or even though you uh, you like the lecture you don't like the lecture see any comments you can put but you have to put the comments okay so that if i read the comment then i will understand okay where i have to improve that thing i will also understand so in order to grow the channel i request you to uh, subscribe the channel don't forget to subscribe okay please subscribe my channel name is siu academy of mechanical engineering siu academy siu academy of mechanical mechanical engineering okay this is my channel name okay this is youtube youtube channel name okay please search this and subscribe the channel guys okay okay with this we will stop here and to in the tomorrow class we will continue with this uh, <coughs> which topic that is a capillarity right what are the capillarity rise hot it falls okay and uh, there are see there are plenty of phenomena observing in the nature uh you might uh, there are many uh, in the capillarity you can see see there are uh, the nat natural phenomena more phenomena occurring day by day you are observing okay that is what are the capillarity and how 
how much it high, it will raise the heights that everything we will see in the tomorrow's class okay guys and thanks for the today bye please don't forget to subscribe thank you bye